All right, all right, all right. Hello, and welcome back to another REI Live Caregiver Moment. My name is Kion Church, a.k.a. The Big Hearted Caregiver. What I do is I help family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency. Now, today's episode is all about what you're going to need to do as the caregiver. How can you become a big hearted caregiver for reliable aid? But, but first, before I get into that, if you or anybody you know needs to work with me personally, the big hearted caregiver, Mr. KC, type in the comments. Let's get started. I'll make sure I get back to you or somebody within the company and get back to you ASAP or dapper. Now, listen, it says uh, on my screen, it says get all get notified about all live notifications from Reliable Aid Inc. I suggest that you hit that button so you can get all your good notifications right here in one place. Get all your live notifications because we got the best big hearted caregiver info going on and we need you to check in every day because I check in with you every day. If you with me, say I'm, I'm with you, KC. All right. Now, look, you want to be a direct care worker. All you're going to need is three or four small little things. Now, every direct care worker by the state must have a two-part TB shot. <clears throat> now, some people might say, what is a TB shot, KC? Well, a TB shot is this little thing. You go to the doctor. You can go to any doctor. You can go to any Medical Express place. What I do is I send a lot of people to the Medical Express. I want to get them in and out, you know? Send them to the Medical Express. They get this little thing. They put it under your, under your skin. It's like the size of a Tic Tac, maybe a little smaller. You come back seven days later, they read it. That Then they let you know if you got TB or not. Now, if you don't have it, you got to get it, what's called a two-part. So you come back the next week and get it read again. All right. All direct care workers need to be in good shape. You have to have a physical. All right. So, uh... Got to be physically able. You know, sometimes you got to transfer your loved ones. You, you got to do certain things. So you got to be, you know, capable of being able to do those certain things. Now, we ain't putting nobody's roof on or nothing like that. So we don't do no hard labor. But, you know, it can't have nobody that's going to come in and fall out. Can't do the work. All right. Just because I think this is the greatest thing ever. We need these drug screens. Now, if you want to be a uh, if you want to be a direct care worker, you got to have a current drug screen. Now, we're not going to drug test you every day. But if you act crazy and something happened, man, they're going to they gonna knock on my door and, and, and we're going to knock on your door. So we're going to put that out. We're going to just put that out there into the universe. Everybody will need a drug test to be down with direct, to be down with the uh, Reliable Aid Inc. squad. So the fourth most final thing that they're that they going to require from the state that we're going to require from you is a State Bureau of Investigations background check. Now, listen, this thing is totally awesome right here. Uh, it's really more awesome for the patient. You know what I mean? Because every patient wants to feel safe in knowing that the people that I got in my house, they ain't like no crazy lunatics. Hmm. How about that? Think about that. We all want the best people in our house. So what do we do? We got to give them that State Bureau of Investigation, that background check. And that good background check is going to give us the good registry checks that we're looking for. We're looking for this adult abuse registry. Now, listen, I'm on here every day talking about take care of the seniors and, you know, all the good stuff and, and you know, take care of the people that looked out for you. We not having no people that's in here that's abusing seniors, you know. I mean, that's a crime, and and and, and not only that, that's immoral, and, and we ain't doing that. So it's gonna and make you get a uh, adult registry check and a child abuse registry check. You know what I mean? Now most of our patients aren't children, but at the same time, it's good to know who we working with. So once again, if you want a job as a direct care worker, uh, more importantly, a big-hearted direct care worker, you need to be a reliable aid. Now, what does reliable aid require? Four sweet, short little things. A two-part TB shot, a physical, a drug screen, and an SBI background check. <sighs> that was a mouthful. But who's with me if they only want the best health care for their parents and their loved ones? Hey, me and you, we kind of together. So listen, if you think that you want to be a big-hearted caregiver and take care of your parents, you probably was thinking that, hey, man, I probably need to be certified, licensed, school, this and that. Nah, 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 nah. Later for all that. You're doing the best job right now taking care of your parents. You, you're getting them up for their appointments. You're helping them get dressed. You're taking care of their, uh, you know, their activities of daily living just like you're supposed to. You're qualified. Now, if your parents are in the Medicaid long-term health care program, they're qualified. Now, what I do is I do PASA, Personal Assistance Service Agency. I can hire you to take care of your parents in your own home. And basically all I need you to do is keep doing the same things that you already doing now and accept the money that I give you as payment. Hmm, 
Who heard that? If you heard that and you think that getting paid for doing something that you already do is an awesome idea, smash the wild face. You know what I mean? Now, if you need me, if you want to uh, get with the big hearted caregiver himself, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. You know, Reliable Aid Inc. is your personal assistance professionals. You know, we take care of your family just like they're ours because we care that much. Miss Vinay, how you doing today? Now look, wherever you at, wherever you're watching this from, make sure you put it in the comments. You know what I mean? Your city, your state, hashtag city, your state, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, make sure you're following us on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver and also on YouTube. Uh, reliable eating. I don't know how to find this on there, but we everywhere, baby. If you need me, if you want to know that, put it in the comments. Miss Ludia probably, uh, you know, make that the uh, the first tag comment anyway. You know what I mean? So you can make sure you can get that good reliable aid uh, YouTube info. I love you. Thank you for uh, taking care of your family members, your friends. You know what I mean? Listen, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is bad business. You know what I mean? We're trying to get our stripes and go to heaven in the afterlife. So keep it moving. Do your thing. I love you. Talk to you soon. Thanks.